Well, hello everyone, sports fans, Chiefs Kingdom, this is Common X Baker TV here. So, time for another prediction video as it's this Sunday, New Year's Eve. We have the Chiefs taking on the Cincinnati Bengals in the penultimate game of the regular season. And, well, we are coming off a very disappointing 20 to 14 loss to. The Las Vegas Raiders on Christmas, and yeah, we're nine and six, and uh, are we now have a zero percent chance of getting the number one seed? Now that is uh, eliminated, so it will be uh, at the highest the two seed. So, and yeah, in that game against the Raiders on Christmas, uh, our Offense just struggled, and uh, the Raiders quarterback, Aiden O'Connell, only had 62 yards passing, and, well, they had two defensive touchdowns, which was really the difference of the game, and also a missed field goal, and just a, another game with missed opportunities. So that was just a pretty, uh, pretty pathetic, to be honest, so... And uh, now here are facing the Bengals team that, of course, has been without quarterback Joe Burrow since uh, November, since the middle of November with a, a hand injury. Uh, and, well, they lost in their previous game last week 34-11 uh, to 11 to the Steelers and led by uh, quarterback Jake Browning, who... Uh, has, believe it or not, actually have been playing pretty well since being the starter taking over for Joe Burrow. Uh, and, yeah, and, uh, including three straight wins. They got a, a huge win in Week 13 against the Jaguars in overtime, and in which uh, Jake Browning has had a uh, like, close to a 70% uh, completion percentage, which is pretty, pretty amazing. And, yeah, so it won't be easy, even though the Bengals are without Burrow. Uh, and they're still led by one of the top wide receivers in the game, uh, Jamar Chase. Uh, and, yeah, this is a rematch from the past two AFC Championship games, and when the schedule came out, when the season started, I think a lot of people thought that this was going to be maybe a preview of AFC Championship game again and or a battle for the top seed in the AFC. And, well, that's definitely not going to be the case. The Bengals, they still have a chance to make the playoffs, but they pretty much have to win this game in order to make the playoffs. And the Chiefs? Well, we have yet another chance to clinch the AFC West with a win. All we have to do is win, and we are in, and we are division champs for an eighth straight year, which would mean our game in Week 18 would be meaningless, kind of. Uh, and, yeah, and we could also clinch if the Raiders lose, uh, and if the Broncos lose, which speaking of the Broncos, the big news, they benched quarterback Russell Wilson, which pretty much tells us that he will not be back next year. And uh, Broncos, I mean, they got off to a slow start, then they were like the hottest team in the league, and now their playoff hopes are pretty much in jeopardy now. So, and, yeah, uh, and the Cleveland Browns also clinched a playoff spot last night. They are in the playoffs for a second time in four years. And, yes, what a year it's been for them. And led by veteran quarterback Joe Flacco, who has been outstanding ever since joining the Browns, which was not even a month ago. So, pretty, uh, pretty amazing story. And... Yeah, so 
definitely be a tough game, and you know, just you know, hope that uh, Mahomes and company do well. Travis Kelsey has been pretty quiet for the Chiefs lately, and really, he's been quiet, uh, kind of uh, for the past month, and you know, ever since Taylor Swift showed up to games regularly at Arrowhead Stadium. Uh, he started out playing really well with Swift in attendance and then, uh, you know, hasn't been playing well since. So, but he probably will still have a thousand yards, a good chance to have another thousand yards season if he can probably reach that in this game. So, um, but yeah, so I know the Bengals, you know, they've, Faced us a lot. Uh, I mean, the last two Apes championship games plus twice, uh, or plus in the regular season once the past the last two years. So they definitely know us a lot. So and picking the Chiefs to win this one, I'm gonna say uh, twenty four to twenty, and I think it's gonna be a close game come down to the the fourth quarter so um and yeah and yeah so if we win like i said we're division champs for an eighth straight year and it would also pretty much end the Bengals' hopes of making the playoffs which would be a big disappointment because coming in this year they were one of the favorites to make the super bowl so, anyway, and then the Chiefs will close out the regular season next Sunday against the Los Angeles Chargers on the road. So, who of course sort out Justin Herbert and are eliminated from playoff contention. So anyway, till Sunday, Connors Pierce saying, go Chiefs.